and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm Sarah Hatch and this is my son and we are going to draw a Thanksgiving feast. Yeah. And we're going to do it with Sharpie and, and then later we're going to color it in with colored pencil. So the turkey will be the center part of your picture because it's the most important part of the meal. And <laughs> okay, so you make a little hook and then draw a line angling up. And then come down just a little bit. And then start going back up a little bit. And then angle back down. And then angle down again. So now we're going to come back to the front of the turkey. Make this little hook a little bigger. And then we're going to make the wing. The wing, the part. So it comes to a point and then comes back in and then you're going to angle that way and we're doing some decorations around our turkey, some little leaves and so we need to do those right now, right here. Oh, it just makes the turkey look so pretty if you put some pretty leaves. I'm pretty, not mine. And so we want leaves around here too, just to make it a really nice presentation. Because that's what's important about Thanksgiving dinner is the presentation. So now, we're gonna draw the bottom part of the wing. That was easy. Yeah. Um, and then, right here, we're gonna be making a curved line up. This is the thigh. And then this comes up and over. Like that. And then we're just gonna round it down here. Okay, and now we're gonna finish off our leaves around the bottom. Don't forget that at any point, if you need to catch up, just pause the video. And then you can also put some leaves up here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna draw some sweet potatoes. We're gonna draw the platter in just a second, but the sweet potatoes overlap. So we want to draw a line here and then an angled line like this here and here and then join it back up, and that's the top of the sweet potato dish. And then you're just gonna make a little border around it and curve the edges of that border. And then we're gonna make the bottom part of the pan. So you've Put the line down and then curve and then straight over and then down and curve and join it up. Nice. Then you can put like a line right there. Awesome. So now we're going to draw some marshmallows inside. Mine's going to be decorated cool. by pan. Stripes. So marshmallows can be misshapen or you can just do little squares and little rectangles. Sometimes they kind of spread out when they get melty. My pan is awesome. Oh yeah, that's a cool pan. It's a zebra pan. Zebra, I like it. I wish we had a zebra pan. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
So just keep drawing your marshmallows. How many do we need? You want them to cover the whole thing. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the platter. So, my turkey, I needed to do that. Yours looks fine. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna draw the platter. And the way you do that is you're making a curve right here. And then think about it disappearing behind there. And then coming out and circling around this dish. I mean, around this turkey. That's nice, good job. And then I'm just gonna make another line right inside of it. If yours is too close, you can do it on the outside. It just depends on where you placed it. What's wrong? What? Whenever I'm doing this, look. Oh, whoops, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you think about it going behind. So now we're gonna draw the mashed potatoes. So we're gonna draw them in a bowl. And so you make a half circle. And then you're gonna make kind of a ridge on the top of your bowl. And then a thin line inside of that ridge. And then your mashed potatoes, just kind of mound them in there. Does it matter where you put them? Mm -mm. So now we're gonna draw a gravy boat. Okay, so the way you do a gravy boat is you draw a curved line up and down and over, and then curve it a little bit down, like a little hook there. And then you come, come back in and then out like that. And then you do a flat bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna come back over here to the spout. You have just like a little um, spout right there. And then it makes just a curve in and then we copy the same curve of that side. Then we gotta make a handle. So you draw a line up and then back down. And then another line right next to it, right there. Cool. And then just two lines right here and here. And then a really thin line right here and then another really thin line right here and then the top of the gravy right there cool now we want to draw some stuffing and we're gonna draw it in a really cool shaped bowl so up here, next to the turkey, we're gonna make, watch this, curve line in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and then come in and out as you go around, and you want it to meet up at the end. That looks kind of weird right now, but then, you can draw a half circle underneath it and it becomes a bowl. And then you can like draw a little line right here to show how it comes down. And then when we color later, we can make it even look cooler with the way we shade it. But for right now, we're just gonna draw some stuffing in there and I'll show you the perimeter of how the stuffing goes in there. Just goes in a circular shape right here, and then skips and goes right there, and then skips and goes right there. 
So then you can just draw little squares inside your stuffing. So just use those edge shapes to create squares. And they don't have to be perfect squares, they can be weird shaped squares too. Okay, stuffing isn't completely squares. Mm -mm. Sometimes even a little mushy. Is the stuffing your favorite part of Thanksgiving? No. What's your favorite part? Chocolate pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about the rolls? I like those also. Good job. Okay, so now the cranberry sauce. We're gonna do it in a cool tray. Make an oval. And then underneath the oval, make it into a little bowl. And then we wanna put it on a stand. So you put two lines down. And then two diagonal lines out from it. And that's how you do the bottom of the cranberry sauce. Okay, and then we can just draw little half circles in here and then color the cranberry sauce in later. You can even put in a whole circle if you want. We like cranberry sauce with the berries in it. We do? I do. <laughs> cranberry juice. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the rolls. My favorite part. It's hard. <laughs> okay, so crescent rolls have like three, I mean, crescent rolls have like five distinct parts. And so you draw these little lines to create the roll. So they come in five sections. So the middle one's the biggest, and then they get smaller as they go out. And so I'll draw another one right here. So the little section. That's okay. And then you just curve down. And then you can like draw them overlapping each other. so that you can't see the whole roll. Does it not matter how many you put in? Nope. And I mean, when I make rolls, I make like a few dozen, <laughs> but for this, we'll only put like four or five and then you can put a plate around it Ooh, that was a weird cheap plate have to fix that okay wow your rolls look awesome good job Okay, so pies. time to draw some pies. We're gonna draw four different pies in the front. <laughs> the first one we're gonna do is an apple pie. And so first you just make the dome shape of the pie. And then we're gonna make a crust. So you go up and down in these scallopy lines as you go around. And then you curve out and back in, and then up and down. And then you can go over it and just draw little lines to show the crust. And then we need to do our pie plate with two diagonal lines in. Cute. Apple apple pie. So some people like to make little pie crust designs. So you could actually like draw a little apple on the top of your apple pie. If you want. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna make like a cream or a meringue pie. Oh, so you yeah. curve it up and then over and then you're gonna make a little dollop up here and then curve it down and back over. And then make a curved line right here. And then the pie plate, you make this oval shape. And then two diagonal lines underneath and join them together. Ooh, I like your meringue pie. That looks good. I like yours better than mine. I don't like mine. Really? Because I don't like meringue pie. Oh. Okay. Well, someone else will like yours. There's always people who like meringue pie. Chocolate pie. Chocolate pie. Okay, ours is going to be more like a creamy chocolate pie with a graham chocolate graham cracker crust. So we make a full oval right here. I'm going to do it in the front a little bit more because it's his it's favorite. It's a tiny one. Nice. And then with the thinner line, you want to draw another oval inside of it. So this is going to be a dark graham cracker crust, or Oreo crust even, and then chocolate pie in the middle. And then you have like a shallow pie pan right here with little lines going across. Because it's tin. Mm-hmm. All right, what's the last pie that you don't really care that much about? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> okay, so the way we're going to make the pumpkin pie is going to be similar to how we made the apple pie. But, but no dome. Yeah, no dome. So we're just going to make half of our oval right here. And then right above our oval, we're going to do that scallop line that you use for crust. So you go and you start coming back down and around and it switches to go that way. And then it meets back up and over. So then you can fix your oval if you need to to fill that in. Okay, and then we have to go back around it and turn it into a thicker crust. So you just take a thin line and go back around your crust. Do you like crust on pies? Yeah. I don't. My favorite pie is chicken pot pie. Oh yeah, you choose what to have. Okay, and then we gotta make the base of the pie. All right. Are hmm? you missing anything? Yeah, the base of my pie. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we aren't. Okay, so you can draw other things that you want for your feast. I'm going to draw a little tablecloth by drawing lines that go across. So, um, that will look more festive. I'm doing like a, t oh, that line went up. That's embarrassing. Okay, sorry about that. The video shut off for a second there. But basically what we're doing is I made a table runner type of tablecloth. So the the wood table will show and you use diagonal lines um, to show the back part of the table. And so you just draw them to there and then you draw a line connecting them all behind the food. And so I'm going to have my table be darker since I had messed up my table runner, but it, you don't have to do your dark lines like mine. So just go ahead and finish up your tablecloth or table runner how you want it, and then you can color. We're switching our coloring to time lapse so that it goes super speedy quick. My son always likes to add a little something something to his pictures to make them more fun. And so he's drawing a comic. That kid is saying, Mom, why is there a dead turkey on the table? 
and the other kid is saying, I only want to roll, and the baby is crying. So I humored him and I drew one also, and mine says dinner, sir. And yes, I am aware how tiny the human looks compared to that gigantic turkey. We hope you had fun drawing with us, and we hope that you'll look at our future videos and subscribe to our channel, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye.